Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So Devin the Dream Haney and Regis Progress did their face off for Matchroom. And it was it was entertaining. It wasn't long. It was what, maybe about 15 minutes. But it was very entertaining. Uh Devin Devin Haney was talking crazy. Regis was talking crazy. And neither one of them was backing down. Devin Haney did admit that he feels like Regis is the toughest opponent at 140 pounds. So he said that's why he challenged Regis. And you know they went back and forth. Regis called Devin Haney a manufacturer but boxer. And Devin Haney was like, I mean, this is all I've been doing. And Regis was like, you got a job. And you ever had a job? And Devin Haney said, it's been boxing. See, let me unpack that part. People make fun of Devin Haney. And they hate on Devin Haney. And they say he was a, he grew up a certain kind of lifestyle. But Devin Haney's undisputed. And most of you guys' favorite fighter, Floyd Mayweather's grew up the same way where only they did was box they didn't know nothing else so we praise Floyd and call him a, a prodigy but we hate on Devin Haney I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let people think about that but they went on and, and, and they was going back and forth still and they both disagree they gonna get it on Devin said he's gonna disable Regis weapons and that's one thing that Devin Haney's known for he took bolsters in the ring and most of his matches are one sided so I'm, I'm glad they got to see it and shout out to Devin Haney you know a lot, a lot of times Eddie Hearn gets criticized and rightfully so but Devin Haney had business with Eddie Hearn. Then he went to Bob Arum, got the belts. Now he going back to Matchroom. Who's now helping broadcast things in, in Saudi Arabia. Can't be mad at that. I wish a lot of fighters would move out, move around like how Devin Haney does. And do more of co-partnerships than... Just sign a straight to straight with somebody. Because Devin Haney, he's been active. And he's getting handsomely paid, right? He's getting paid, what, $6 million for this upcoming fight? So, I mean, we got we to gotta appreciate fighters like this now, right? I mean, and... I don't think it's going to be a, a, a one-sided matchup, but... We got to support this, this type of stuff, man. Devin Haney's trying to fight the best. He went from undisputed at 135, now first match at 140 for another belt. We got we to gotta acknowledge these fighters, man, when they do stuff like that. So that's just my opinion about all of it. What y'all think?